सो हेलो एवरी वन वी आर एक्चुअली डिस्कसिंग सम प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस सॉइल वाटर रिलेशनशिप सो इन दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो विल डिस्कस वन मोर प्रॉब्लम सो लेट एस क्विकली लुक इन टू द प्रॉब्लम सो जस्ट रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली सो वॉट हैज बीन आस्कड इन द प्रॉब्लम या A soil has a porosity of forty percent. So, what has been given? N is equal to point four zero. He has given porosity. He has given a specific gravity of solid C is two point six five, and specific gravity is also given. That is two point six five, and also and a and a water content of twelve percent. So, water content. Also, he has given. So these are the properties of a soil. He has given. So a soil is having a porosity of 0.40 and a specific gravity of 2.65 and water content of 0.12. So what has been asked? Determine mass of water required to be added to 100 meter cube of this soil for full saturation. For full saturation. now let me explain the question clearly first so i am just drawing the three phase diagram just to explain what has been asked in the problem so we know that in three phase diagram this will be the solids and this will be the water and this will be the air so what has been asked determine the mass of water required to be added to 100 meter cube of this soil for full saturation that means the current soil is not fully saturated it has some air in it in the voids it has some air present in its voids so the first step is to how much volume of air voids is present in the sample has to be calculated with this given data so so in this water is there and air is also there so if we can able to fill this air with the water then it will be fully saturated if we can able to fill this air voids with water then it will be fully saturated so the first step is to calculate volume of air voids in this sample so that has been asked so volume of air has to be calculated so some volume will come so this much meter cube it will come so then we will be knowing how much water we can add to this soil to become fully saturated that is nothing but the volume of air which is present in the sample so so let us quickly solve this question so porosity he has given and specific gravity is also given and water content is also given so the our first step is to our first step is to we know we know specific gravity is equal to gamma s by gamma w gamma s by gamma w so this gamma s is equal to w s by v s w s by vs gamma w w s by vs gamma w so here from here what we'll get we'll get weight of solids we'll get we'll get weight of solids we'll get here one thing we can assume that volume of solids is equal to 1 meter cube first initially for 1 meter cube we can calculate later we can calculate the total volume of the soil so here what we are assuming volume of solids is equal to 1 so from this weight of solids is equal to how much weight of solids is equal to 2.65 into this gamma w gamma w in kg per meter cube will be 1000 1000 kg per meter cube okay so from this weight of solids is equal to weight of solids will be how much weight of solids is equal to so 2.65 into 1000 that is nothing but 
टू सिक्स टू सिक्स फाइव जीरो के जी टू सिक्स फाइव जीरो के जी सो वेट ऑफ सॉलिड्स वी गॉट नो वेट ऑफ वाटर वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट वेट ऑफ वाटर वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट सो गामा डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू वेट ऑफ वाटर टू द वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर वेट ऑफ वाटर टू द वॉल्यूम ऑफ वाटर सो नो वेट ऑफ वाटर कैन वी गेट वेट ऑफ वाटर फ्रॉम दिस रिलेशनशिप नो वी कैन नॉट गेट वेट ऑफ वाटर फ्रॉम दिस रिलेशनशिप सो वी विल बी गेटिंग वेट ऑफ वाटर फ्रॉम हियर वाटर कंटेंट इज इक्वल टू वेट ऑफ वाटर टू द वेट ऑफ सॉलिड्स सो वाटर कंटेंट वी नो हाउ मच इट इज पॉइंट वन टू इन टू दिस वेट ऑफ सॉलिड्स हाउ मच वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड टू सिक्स फाइव जीरो टू सिक्स फाइव जीरो सो दिस विल बी द वेट ऑफ वाटर सो वेट ऑफ वाटर इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच इट इज पॉइंट वन टू इन टू टू सिक्स फाइव जीरो टू सिक्स फाइव जीरो थ्री वन एट थ्री वन एट के जीस so 318 kg so if you know the weight of water then i can calculate volume of water volume of water is equal from this relation we can i can calculate volume of water volume of water is equal to weight of water divided by gamma w weight of water divided by gamma w so weight of water will be how much 318 divided by gamma w is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube so if you substitute here the weight of water will be how much 318 divided by gamma w is equal to 1000 so this will be nothing but 0.318 meter cube 0.318 meter cube so i got volume of water i got volume of water from this how to calculate the volume of air how to calculate the volume of air so volume of voids is equal to volume of air plus volume of water volume of voids is equal to volume of air plus volume of water so this thing we know but this thing we don't know so if we can able to calculate volume of voids then volume of air can be calculated volume of air can be calculated now our next step is to calculate volume of voids volume of voids so how we can calculate volume of voids so we know e is equal to volume of voids to the volume of solids volume of voids to the volume of solids so volume of voids is equal to e into volume of solids so this actually 1 m meter cube we have assumed so volume of voids is equal to to calculate e we have n value n by 1 minus n into 1 n by 1 minus n into 1 so what is n value he has given 0.40 0 0.40 0.40 divided by 1 minus 0.40 okay Point four zero divided by one minus point four zero. How much it is coming around? Point six six seven meter cube. Point six six seven meter cube. So we have calculated volume of voids. Now volume of air is equal to volume of voids minus volume of water. Volume of voids minus volume of water. Volume of voids will be how much? Point six six seven minus volume of water. How much we have calculated? Point three one eight. Point three one eight. So volume of air is coming around point three four nine meter cube. Point three four nine meter cube. So that means that means what I would like to say. What I would like to say. so this much water has to be added this much water has to be added to this oil to this oil for its 
फुल सैचुरेशन फुल सैचुरेशन ओके सो जनरली इफ यू सी थ्री फेस डायग्राम सॉलिड्स विल बी देर वाटर विल बी देर एंड एयर विल बी देर सो द करंट सॉइल विच ही हैज गिवन इज पार्शली सैचुरेटेड पार्शली सैचुरेटेड मतलब सम एयर वॉइड्स आर प्रेजेंट If we can able to fill that air voids with water, then it will be fully saturated. So that is why we have calculated how much volume of air is inside the sample. How much volume of air is inside the sample? Okay. Now we have calculated volume of air. We have calculated volume of air. So let us calculate what is the total volume of soil. So total volume of soil is equal to volume of solids plus volume of voids volume of solids plus volume of voids so this will be volume of solids is equal to 1 plus volume of voids how much we have calculated 0.667 0.667 so that means total volume of the soil will be 1.667 meter cube total volume of the soil will be 1.667 meter cube so now he what he has asked determine the mass of water required to be added to 100 meter cube of this soil for full saturation so how much weight we have to add to this 100 meter meter cube that means we are calculating it for 1 meter cube then we are proportionating it to 100 meter cube of this soil so now what i am going to calculate how much volume is required how much volume of water has to be added then i will convert into weight for this 100 meter cube of this soil so that is what i am going to do now so volume of volume of water to be added to to be added to 100 meter cube of this soil 100 meter cube of this soil for full saturation is equal to full saturation is equal to so total volume will be how much total volume will be 1.667 meter cube in that how much Air is there. How much volume of air is there? Point three four nine meter cube. Point three four nine meter cube. That means this is the volume of water has to be added to one meter cube of this soil for full saturation. Now we are actually proportionating it for hundred meter cube. Hundred meter cube. Then it will be how much? Point three four nine divided by one point six six seven into hundred. Twenty point twenty point nine three five nine three five meter cube. So this is the total volume of water has to be added to. 100 meter cube of the soil for full saturation now what has been asked in the problem he has not asked the volume but he has asked the mass of water he has asked the mass of water now we can easily convert that volume of water into to mass of water to mass of water so mass of water is equal to or mass of water weight of water is equal to so 1000 into Volume of water, thousand into volume of water, so that will be nothing but two zero nine three five kg, two zero nine three five kg. This is the weight of water has to be added to this hundred meter cube of this soil for full saturation. For full saturation, this is the problem. Once again, I will explain. So he has given the porosity of the soil. and specific gravity of the soil and water content of the soil and he asked us to calculate how much mass of water has to be added to 100 meter cube of the soil for full saturation 
so that means the given soil is not fully saturated not fully saturated matlab it has some air voids in it so we are calculating the volume of air voids that means how much percentage air voids is there so how much volume of air voids is present in the sample so if we can able to know that thing so that amount of water if we can able to add then it will be fully saturated so that is what we have done we have calculated the volume of uh, air air voids for 1 meter cube of soil then we have uh, proportionated it to 100 meter cube of the soil then we have converted into weight of water so this is what has been mentioned in the problem now i'll solve a few more questions then i'll solve the previous year questions uh, previous year gate questions on the soil water relationships so after solving those questions then i'll enter into index properties of the soil so thanks for watching my lecture if you find the content is useful please like my channel and subscribe as well thank you